What's up everybody? Graver here and today we are going to be working on a I guess prop project here. So a while back I created my own custom Dark Angels Astartes and it's really cool and I wanted to do something kind of special for it. I wanted to make a neat uh, display for it and whatnot and I had mentioned this to my good friend Papatachi uh, while he came by for a visit and we were talking about it over lunch and he was just like, I could probably do something. So he did. And over the course of just a lot of back and forth and all, he then sent me this box back with my figure and in it is actually going to be a really nice display piece for my Astartes. So Let's just go over to the workbench and I can show you what Pop has put together. Um, this isn't a complete project. He actually left it very, he basically left it as a raw kit. And then I get to do all of the customization and work on it. So let's go take a look at what he sent. Okay, so this is what I got sent for my figure. Um, we have a... He had sent uh, this piece of wood with the base of it attached, which, I mean, is, you know, a bit above and beyond in regards to, which I'm very grateful for, uh, a bunch of, some nice rock, a nice dirt texture on it. Uh, the sides are open, so they still look rough, but he added some dirt texture around that. Uh, I will probably have to be on the safe side. I might seal this over with some Mod Podge, or at least definitely around the edges. Because, uh, truthfully, the dirt and everything here looks pretty good. I may not have to do much with that. But the additions that he added was he did all of these, like, 3D printed bricks and such for um, a busted out wall uh, for, like, the middle of battle and everything. And the reason these pegs are here is because that's actually what... Um, how the uh the bricks will actually kind of like attach so to speak so it's like you're I may have to fiddle around with it but yeah basically the bricks will slide right over there so that i can put the wall together it yeah and then glue it down from there which again really neat but then he added some extra stuff like i have a couple of these uh clear acrylic rods so if I wanted to have my Astartes kind of like up in the air or jumping or whatever, not sure. But then he also added some of these brass pipe pieces, which again, really cool. So here, one's all mangled and stuff. So I can like do busted out piping and metal and all that. But the other thing that he added, which I think was actually really cool, is he 3D printed these like busted out Astartes helmets. So it's that it's the Astartes helmet, but with like a skull in it. And these are really cool. And he did like two versions of it. He did two of these two, which are your traditional 3D print, which is what the bricks are. But then he did these. And I want to say, I think these are resin cast. And they're so good. Like these are so nice. Like literally these are the nicest 3d printed pieces i think i've ever owned in my entire life and they're just like busted out skulls um also these two uh melted pieces for like pipes and such so i'm going to figure out what i want to do with it uh the brick wall and the helmets that i choose i'm going to do a filler primer on them first uh just to knock out any of the 3d printed lines because I mean, they're really not there too much. Um, you can kind of see them a bit in the back. And this isn't a knock-on pop. This is just, you know, it's just they're 3D printed. So you're going to get 3D printed. You're going to get print lines with most 3D prints. Um, or I may just actually wind up hitting them with the, um, the primer on it uh, just to kind of have it go. And also, like, the markings and such here, these were not 3D printed. He actually went in with, like, a heat gun and other things and actually melted and molded all of the larger bullet holes. So, like, this here, this busted up brick here, this, like, 
this like any any of these like really big focaccia pieces those were all done by hand which pop i'm i'm so grateful for um i cannot wait to actually start painting this up and coming up with my design for it and everything and yeah uh i'm gonna start getting work on this and i don't know what kind of process i'm gonna have in regards to showcasing it i'll probably do a as i go and everything because i think the majority of this is probably going to be hand painted so i might showcase that a little bit more just because i don't i'd like to showcase the hand painting a bit but yeah um so yeah let me get to working on this get some of these things prepped and then we'll see where we stand in a moment okay so I have a giant mess here, but I have made a lot of progress. I've been working on this, it would take maybe about two hours or so. Uh, so I put some, I did the Mod Podge on the edges around here and kind of here where it's going to go over just to be on the safe side. I went ahead, painted the wood base uh, black. I did have it this matching custom brown that I had but honestly I didn't like the way it looked so I just decided to do the brown along the edges that matches an overlay I did onto the top of this I went over the rocks with a small mix of um, steel legion drab and I believe it's the gray seer yeah gray seer uh, to kind of give it like a dirty but still rocky look um, there's still more to do on the base like I want to put some null oil and a little bit more contrast within the dirt itself um, I did glue down this little piece of the bent pipe so now uh, that's all said and done I have this one break I just haven't figured out if I want to do anything with this yet or not but on the other sides for the bigger pieces I did uh, I did a gray vinyl dye base coat onto it and then I just really started a lot of hand painting um, my original base for this over the dark charcoal uh, that is my normal gray because this is how it would look just for contrast uh, I wound up doing a mix of Abaddon black and gray sear almost like a 5 to 2 uh, for the original base coat then I did like more of like a four to one just to get a little lighter because the gray sear is here and it's a very stark color uh, not a straight out white but it's like a very light gray and it was too light for what I wanted to do so did a couple of different layers and then along the really kind of like blown out busted pieces I went over it with just some Abaddon black to give it that charred look and it doesn't look too much like on there, but honestly, here is where it kind of really showcases. And I'm really liking how this is looking. Um, I took one of the pieces of broken pipe, just drilled a small little hole in here so I could fit it in, then super glued it. Uh, got to do a little bit more weathering on there. I got to do some weathering on here as well. Um, but here I have like anywhere where there was like a really big uh, blast or something, I did put in some Abaddon black into it and then just around the edges to really kind of make it like sooty and exploded uh, I wanted to put some kind of graffiti on the wall but I couldn't think of too much because also I didn't want to detract from the actual battle or battle damage I should say so I put the Imperial Aquila up here as if it was spray painted onto the wall earlier um, I might do a little bit more on it, but I also added a little bit of the run of yellow to make it look like the paint was running. And I purposely put it here just so that it would be damaged. So it was like it was here before uh, all of this, you know, destruction. So I had like the wing get cut off there. One of the quill heads did get shot. Uh, but yeah, I really like how that looked like. Honestly, so far out of everything, this is like my favorite thing. It's stupid, but I mean, it just looks so good. And the camera really doesn't do it uh, 
justice but yeah i'm really liking how the way it looks and honestly i'm really liking how everything else has come together uh i have started working on some of the uh skulls i'm only i'm gonna do three so i have this one and this one i'm kind of doing as a dark angel fallen in battle uh i haven't decided what i want to do these two yet as uh but i'll think of something so yeah i'm not going to utilize everything that pop sent me uh just because it might get a little too cluttered to say um but yeah so far this is coming along really nicely and i'm really liking it um obviously this skull is not done i still have a lot more work to do on it but i mean the bulk stuff is done so now i'm really kind of going into those finer details so and that's where it's really kind of coming coming to the fun of finding stuff to add but not adding too much like i have to find that that good that good like kind of like in between stop so but yeah uh that's the update here uh if i get more on here and then find a stopping point or something i'll showcase that um or i may just push through and just show you what it looks like when it's all done i haven't decided yet so um yeah so there's that and we'll see you in a moment okay so my display is complete and i'm sure it looks fantastic in this view but honestly standing with the background behind me i just really didn't know how well it would work so i'm gonna take my figure off which now basically has permanent spokes in his feet um i can't i could probably take these out if need be um like if i wanted to change something up but honestly it's just keeping the figure nice and secure into the foam that we have here so figure down uh here is the base 100 percent completed and i gotta say this came out so much better than i had thought it was going to um pop did a great great job of 3d printing and detailing these bricks and then just hand adding a lot of this detail with just like um a hot poker just putting in all the the battle scars and then just really really messing these things up it looks so good um the paint i did for the bulk of the brick uh was just my uh it was a little bit of filler primer and then it was the 3d um not the 3d the um the gray vinyl dye and then what i did was is i really just hand painted everything um the walls i gave a good work over of a gray that i had uh then dry brushed some of a lighter i think it's the sear gray over it uh trying to dry brush a couple of spots here and there which you can kind of see uh for the black spots i i went with the tried and true use some abaddon black and just kind of filled in or not filled in but scarred and then dry brushed around the edges the best i could um since this is a war scene and i wanted to put a little bit of i guess you could say propaganda without really going too ham on the wall i did put the aquila up here where the <laughs> where one of the heads is shot off and also with some paint runs on it to make it look like you know it was as it was as it was done it was still runny um really happy with how that came out although with the figure on the base you really can't see it which made me a little sad but at the same time i'm it, everything just came together so nicely um the pipes that i had used this one messed up piece of brass i just left on the ground i glued to the ground this kind of just a busted pipe i have two of the resin heads here um one had a couple of 
bullet holes in it, which I did try and mark up best I could. Um, but yeah, one I kind of did ultramarine ish, uh, one I did in a dark angel. So my guy is here to avenge the pipes, uh, the little PVC pipes that Pop made were too good not to use. So I have one here on the side wall, so kind of got busted out when this wall fell and the pipes all messed up there. Same thing here. Um, I didn't add any rust to it just because I didn't know how soon this would the battle would have been, but um, you know, I I think I did a pretty good job. Um, oh, as for the ground itself, uh, I once I sealed everything with Mod Podge, I went over it with just this basic nutmeg brown acrylic paint. Uh, to really kind of make the ground uniform. Then I went over it with... Um, oh, I went over the rocks with the gray that I kind of used the bricks for since it was... I'm guessing it's the same stuff. So uh, the rubble, you know, some of the dust did get back over it, but tried my best to cover up the ground. I then did a wash of the... Abrax shade because brown on brown I figured it would be better um, I may have also done none oil but that's what I tried to make on like the ground so you can see the the wet spots and if you look down here I also did it along the edges of the bricks so you know it looks like you know whatever was on the ground kind of splashed or may have been a flood or something I don't know and then right here where the pipe busted I went really heavy with like the Nun Oil and uh, Abrax Shader, uh, even running down some of the sides to give it a little bit of a 3D feel. So whatever was in this pipe did, you know, kind of leak into the ground. Uh, since this pipe was up, I just have it kind of running down the edges there. So, but yeah, I this came out really well. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, I'll put, I mean, if you've seen the, uh, thumbnail for the video, I'll put a vi I'll put a picture here right now of the scene looking straight on with my ult, with my, uh, space Marine, just kind of like looking out upon the battlefield from the corner or whatever from this battle. But yeah, I'm really happy with the, how this came out. Thank you so much, Papatachi, for helping me with this. Uh, this was this was a long project coming, but it came out so good, and I'm really happy for it. Uh, this is going on one of my display shelves, which will be shown eventually once the uh, the shop renovations are done. You've seen a couple of you've seen part of it already with my new backdrop that me and Arlene uh, are going to be filming against. But really looking forward to showing you the final bits uh we have one or two things left to do so probably see that video i would say the fall maybe if y'all are interested which i hope you are um but anyway that's going to be it for this video and as always thank you so much for joining me for this one and if you enjoy the stuff we put here on the channel please throw us a like and subscribe leave a comment down below let me know what you think of how my display came out and I don't know, give me some tips on what you think I should have done different or what I could do differently next time. Uh, looking for ideas. I'm really happy with how this came out, but I'm always, I can always appreciate some additional um, feedback. And ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. And don't forget, we have the P.O. Box, Snail Mail, Lost Art. You know, everyone enjoys getting mail, just saying. Uh, but again, thank you all for joining me on this one. I'll see you guys next time. Later.